How you doing? Adam Painter with the 6R Academy. We're often asked, especially with our concealed carry courses, what to do if you have interaction with law enforcement and you're in your vehicle. So maybe you're going a little bit too fast or you run that stop sign a little bit too quick and you get pulled over. Let's say that you get pulled over and you have a concealed carry permit that's valid in whatever state you're in and you have your pistol on you. Or maybe it's in your vehicle, in the glove box, in the center console, something like that. Um, as a police officer, I'm often asked this question as well. Now what? What do I do? Um, all that stuff. So here's what I recommend. Now keep in mind, this is not legal advice. This is just my general perception having pulled a few people over what I recommend and what we recommend out here at the Six Hour Academy. So first off, you're driving, you're going a little too fast, you do get pulled over. What I recommend is you immediately just pull to the side at a safe, wherever you can safely pull to the side and get off the road. When you pull over, go ahead, put the vehicle in park, put your hands up on top of the wheel and don't do anything else. The police officer is gonna handle everything else from there. As a police officer, what I don't really like to see from way back there, especially at night, is digging around in here. You think you're helping by trying to find your license and registration and insurance documents, but really, you're just getting the police officer on edge because they see you digging in compartments and they don't really know what you're doing. So from a safety standpoint, that's what I recommend. You pull over, car on park, take your foot off the brake. You see brake lights on when you're uh, sitting in a police cruiser behind you. You're always kind of wondering if they're going to try to take off on you. So vehicle in park, hands up on the wheel just like this. If it's dark out, what I'll do is an additional step. I'll recommend that you go ahead and turn on your dome light or your overhead light. So in park, hands up on the wheel, turn on my light. And I'm not going to do anything else. Obviously, I'm going to roll down the window. That's important. All right. So whether they come up on the driver's, uh, driver's side or passenger side, doesn't matter. When they come up, they can see your hands up on the wheel, the lights on, vehicles in park, and that's going to set a lot of police officers' minds at ease. And it's good practice to do. So from there, let's say this scenario happens. Officer pulls up on me, they ask, uh, tell me why they pulled me over, and they ask for my license and registration and proof of insurance. What I'm going to tell them before I even do anything is say, uh, certainly officer, I'll go ahead and get you those documents, but before I do anything, I want to let you know that I do have a valid concealed carry permit in this state, and my pistol is located where. So I'd recommend saying, I've got a concealed carry permit. I do have a pistol on me. It's in my hip on a strong side. I've got a pistol on my strong side hip holster. It's right there. I just wanted to let you know as a courtesy before I reach for anything. Any police officer worth his or her salt will appreciate that you gave them that heads up as a courtesy. In some states, keep in mind, that's actually a requirement. In some states, it's not. So you're going to want to check with that. So as I'm up here, when they ask me for my documents, I'll simply just say that. Hey, sir or officer, before I reach for anything, I want to let you know that I've got a concealed carry permit in the state and I've got my pistol on my hip. I wanted to let you know that as a courtesy before I reach for anything. And from there, simply follow directions. Every police officer is going to handle that a little bit differently, but I'm pretty sure that most police officers out there are going to really appreciate you giving them that courtesy before you do anything. Because some computer systems will show that you have a concealed carry permit when your name is run. And certainly as a police officer, what I don't want to see is when I ask for your license and registration and you're reaching your glove box and I'm looking at your big hand cannon sitting there. Now, my Mind, mind you, it's that may be perfectly legal in your state, no problem at all, but it's going to startle me as a police officer a little bit, and I'm always going to kind of wonder, why didn't this person just go ahead and tell me about that before they open that up as a courtesy? So, not a requirement unless your state requires it, so check on the legal requirements here. Folks, this is just some general information and some of the things we recommend if you have law enforcement interaction out there in your vehicle when you're carrying your concealed firearm. For those of you looking for a place to actually train, maybe a local gun range and don't know exactly where to shoot, what I recommend is visit the NSSF site, wheretoshoot.org, and they'll direct you to a local range that you can practice some of your firearm skills. Or you can come visit us here at the Sig Sauer Academy and take one of our dynamic vehicle courses, shooting from a vehicle, in and out of the vehicle, lots of things you can do up here in New Hampshire. And until then, remember, firearm safety depends on you.